I'll be back in one oh. second. Why is Revision applying white? Oh, because he's one liters of full cream milk, I say. It's Fair milk enough. in bulk. Yeah. I'm getting that. That <laughs> that is the picture I'm getting. Yeah. It's like one liter full cream. Yeah. How's this gonna go? All right. Currently, he's just getting owned off the grab. Ooh. Kind of an interesting Ooh. counter. Stop countering! <laughs> <laughs> fucking grabs and spot dodges. You make a Hail Mary counter to get off the ledge, fine. You do a counter in neutral, fuck you. <laughs> you think you're Ken versus PC, Chris? No. Oh, that was beautiful. Grab ledge, grab ledge, grab ledge! That oh, works too. <laughs> Emma is doing uh, all the channel point predictions for me. Ooh. I don't think you should, um... Marth gets at most four Galint off his Leggy. Yeah. And, like, I just I just don't know how much, particularly at, like, the, the level you're playing at here, you really want to challenge Ipcat with, with that. Like, it's just so hard to Galint through the S-Mash that's going to come. Like, Ipcat loves to swing at that. It's not just S-Mash, but, like, oh, what a beautiful tech. Still dead, though. Revisioner is fresh off the third place in MLM though, so I just got something going for him. Oh, he's dead though. <gasps> Beautiful. All right. Yeah, I think getting off the ledge is gonna be a tricky one here for him. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't charge neutral B in your opponent's face. <laughs> Whoa, this is fascinating. Um, not sure about that dare. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff he could have done off the ledge there. The down air was not it. Oh, beautiful. Oh my god. I think Revisioner is sort of feeling himself, though. A little bit, yeah. To be fair, there are very few players, I think, in this game who play so much as if they are feeling themselves as Revisioner. This man just does the things that he wants to do. And despite that, has gotten quite good at this game. Oh. That was quite a fast ledger. No, Emma, Definitely I'm not zero rephrasing galent, it. But like... <laughs> Emma thinks it's weird that we're saying that Revisioner is feeling himself because Emma is a fucking child brain. I oh, know, I mean it literally. Oh, okay. Revisioner, one hand in the pants. <laughs> that's... that's terrific. Wow, I mean... Playing with a GameCube controller one-handed must be tough. Yep. Just like Shulk in Smash 4, he's really feeling it. I, well, he also says that in Xenoblade. It's not yeah. like... Shulk I'm does like, not come from... He's not a Smash 4 character. I played Xenoblade in 2011? 11, yeah. Xenoblade in 2011? I'm right. googling Xenoblade for the Wii. 2010! No, it's Japan. That's Japan. Oh. It's 2010 God. Japan, 2011 here, 2012 the US. Damn. Came out with as Dark Souls here. And Skyrim. It was definitely better than Skyrim. Maybe better than Dark Souls. I don't know. Uh, okay, no. Xenoblade's a stunning game. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm playing through it. I like to see the forward throw and up throw. Yeah, a little more signs of life from Ipcat this game. Like, he was definitely sort of just killing Revisioner off Revisioner being off stage for dumb reasons last time. Um, yeah, looks more awake now, though he is kind of dead. <gasps> we love that edge guard. Is this really Revisioner? Ooh, that is a <laughs> small Fuck. shield. You know those like Twitter things where you get to take the one like one of the, the eight pills or whatever and they each give you a small buff? That's what Revision has done? Yeah, did he just take one of them pills a couple of days ago? Like what the fuck? He he looks like a he's been grinding Ul Uncle Punch so hard, like for oh sure. Oh my god, yeah, okay, don't you, you, you can't be getting hit by that in the ditto. The fact that you got to live there is Revision's fault, it is not in the character <laughs> yeah. it was okay. Oh my god, this is terrible. Okay, air dodge? No, fine. 
God, I love the way Epcot plays corner. That's it's... exactly what I want. He moves forward so slowly when you're in the corner. Because it's just like, that's such a bad spot for you. He doesn't care. Like, he's not like getting antsy and dashing in. He's just kind of like, yeah, he just plays his position so well. With like 5F smashes, but if it works. Well, it's more like, I think the tools will get more sophisticated as he gets better. Yeah. But the idea is good to start with. It's like, what I like, foundational. Yeah. I mean, I'm not one to criticize 5 forward smashes. I'm worse than Ipkit, so. One thing you gotta be good at if you're gonna, you know, play the slower game with your opponent in the corner is working out if they're a roller. If they love to roll out of the corner, you can punish that so hard. Yeah. Caleb a roller. Love sitting next to Caleb the local. I'm just saying that, you know, pointing out all the rolls. <laughs> I don't think he appreciates it, but that's on him. Stop rolling. That's just good advice, really. Like, if you tell him every single roll he's doing, he has to pick up on it eventually. Uh, I don't know if he does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god! went to swag all right all right that was nice <laughs> revision to be like 95 percent less swag oh that was weird revision i can clean up this yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see a lot, and like, I also do this, is rolling off the ledge too early on a Martha B. Yeah, it's really hard, because um, yeah, the reason you do it is that they have two timing mix-ups down there. The first is the side B, if they still have juice in it, and the second is the jump. Yeah. So if they have either of those, they can delay a little bit, and you don't want to be too late, because otherwise they'll you, hit you. You get hit. Yeah. And then, really and then they get a reversal on you. Yeah. If I could ask like two things of bb moths the first is uh stop getting shield grabbed by other moths in the ditto because your sword is enormous like it's just a spacing issue that you're fucking up and the second is uh stop getting your jumps called out by f smash you, you don't need to jump most of the time if you, your opponent's f smashing your, your jumps either they f smash a lot or they're reading you uh yeah I think it all be quite a bit better. Thank you. I'm off my, I'm off my fucking soapbox now. Revision is going for the FD counter pick. Yeah, I mean stages don't matter. This is the most better. <laughs> I mean, doesn't FD really reward the player with the better punish? Um, I think it rewards the player. Like, I, I think it's more the point that some of the lower plat stages reward the cheesier player. Sure. And it's, I, I don't know how Revishna feels about how cheesy he is versus Ipcat. I think this is just a preference thing. I don't think it's a big deal. Oh my god, what are you oh, doing? Oh, that tech! He oh didn't... my god, they're both insane and incredible. Like, that counter was the dumbest thing that could have been the greatest <laughs> thing. And then <laughs> Ipcat didn't bite, and then he teched the... Oh my god, what the fuck? Ipcat just needed to throw in a back air at the end of that tech. He might not have been trying to go for the jump tech, which might have been why. Yeah, that's what I said, Nanos. The platforms reward the cheesier player. In this matchup. Unless I misspoke. No, I'm pretty sure you said that right the first time around. Alright, Rav, how you kill him here? This can be hard. Yeah. Uh, I think, honestly, the reason Ipcat's so good at this matchup... That's how you kill. DB, that's nice. Is the way he plays the corner. Because mm. once Marth's off stage, he's got a very hard time. And, like, the fact that Ipcat doesn't yield center very easily is really nice. Like, look at this. Oh, my God. I see what... had to, like, really fight his way out, and then he gets put right back in. Like... I'm, like, too bad at the game. I, like, see it differently. <laughs> But, like, not in a good way. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I mean, I, A, I could be wrong. And B, you could get better if I'm not wrong. I don't want to get better. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Coming off the ledge here is such a tricky problem because of, like, 
Hipkit's also got genuinely good reactions to the way that people come off, and so he's swinging, but he swings at the right time. The move doesn't really matter, it's just that, like, he's gonna catch you, and so you have to do a thing that either tricks him, or you have to do a thing that's, like, relatively safe and eat the punish, like, rolling in and eating the grab. Uh, I don't think I've seen Revision to roll in yet. That was a good one. Oh, that was back. a great idea, actually. That little walk back. He yeah. just wasn't quite far enough to escape the. Uh, uh, do you have double jump? You do. Okay, you did land. I thought he didn't. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> why did? Why do you have to turn every scenario into one in which you have to outplay your opponent so hard because you have to get the counter exactly right? I think Ravishna gets a lot of mileage off of his counter, but Ipkit seems to just not go for it. Look, I don't hate it out of the corner when he's coming off ledge or whatever, just because he's getting owned every other way. But every time he does it in neutral, I want to die. I remember he was playing Lax uh, recently, and like he was hitting Lax with the counter in neutral, and Lax is like, yeah, I don't care. Like, Stry took 7%, but what did you get? You knocked me away and we have to reset to neutral. Like, that's such a good trade for me if I'm going to lose that exchange. To only take 7% for it? Like, it's, yeah. Yeah. I think BB players are just very, well, maybe it's just me, but I think uh, it's very, it's very easy to fall for the bait to just keep swinging into a countering math. It, but it's like, even when I play Revision and I fall for the counter, a lot of the time it's like, so what? It's like a you habit though. Away. Like, just because you're playing against someone better doesn't mean that you unlearn all those habits. But, but what I mean is like, that no matter the player you're playing against, the reward for getting the counter is so low, unless you were in the corner and you were going to die if you didn't get it. So it's just like, what are you risking and what are you getting? And the answer is a lot, and usually very little. Uh, I think depending upon the opponent, getting hit by a counter will deal a lot of mental damage. I mean, maybe. Especially if it's think, like think, the third counter you get hit by. I think that's one that works more against better players, though. If better players notice that you're going to counter, they're actually going to take notice of that and start, like, delaying hits or, like, trying to bait it out. Whereas a worse player will just, like, swing into the counters. You're not actually getting any, like, changes in gameplay out of them. Okay, well, this is if Catalan, yeah, he's in the corner, he tries to jump out. Getting your jump called out here by the S-Smash is brutal. Oh, that was my god, actually that was a, a good counter. That was a Giga Brain counter, oh my god. MCAT, with such respect for that counter, SDs. <laughs> <laughs> After grabbing ledge. I think it's genuinely a mistake to try and jump at Ipcat when you're in the corner and he's in center. Just the sheer amount of times I've watched people get, like, F-Smash for it is, like, yeah. That was such an incredible late up here. Holy shit. Got put a lot of respect in Ambition's name here. He's playing, like, despite all the, the criticism that I've been leveling, he's playing quite well. Like, yeah. Cat is a genuinely terrifying opponent. Um. He's got, like, Ipcat is very consistent with the way he plays, and he plays in a very, like, principled manner. I don't know, he's very good. Top aiding a Reunion BB, even though there's only five graduates, still isn't, like, a small thing. Ah, oh, I remember the early Reunions, like, you know, back BB40-ish and earlier, where, like, the graduates were always the top, like, in order <laughs> spots. Like, the idea that anyone that wasn't a graduate could place in that. Was always just so janky. Ooh, Revision actually had his jump. I really do not like these side beats from Revision. Like, not like recovering, but like offensive side B. I really don't think it's good as Marth. Uh, Needles, I think the last one, Yogg got upset by. Might have been magical thing. I think it was a page. Nikki and then was in Nikki top eight. Nikki ended up coming fifth. Yeah. 
like over several grads in BB80. So like, yeah, it was Chive, Helium, Yoff in top three. I can't remember who got fourth, but like, I think there was some very respectable placements out of people, and like upsets out of people who were not graduates at the time. That's it. Ipkid takes a 3-1. Crazy. Well played.